Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to a new style of product review where I don't have to wear a helmet to cover my face. Now, this video is being recorded on an iPhone 10. Um, why are you shaking your head at me? 11 Pro Max. I guess it's been that long since we've done the first take because we did a first take and we tried to use a green screen and it failed miserably and it's been a nightmare to try and edit. So now iCal has come back and kindly let me use his phone again to record my product placement for the Wii Pro Visor insert. Now, let's quickly talk about the product. Wii Pro have sent me out this product to test out. Now, I've been testing it for a few months on my old helmet but I didn't install it on my clear visor because I knew I was gonna buy a new helmet. Now this helmet is a showy NXR helmet, matte black, and I've already got a pin lock on the tinted visor, which is basically performing really well. The problem with my old helmet was that the seal is about here and the visor would sit much lower. And when I fully closed it, the seal uh, seam was actually halfway through my eyesight, which was really irritating. So if you guys have seen a lot of my videos or those of you who have seen me in traffic, you see me ride like this with a bit of a gap. Uh, now, sometimes when that's raining, the rain would hit against the bottom edge and splash inside the helmet. Or sometimes if I'm on a motorway, I'd get a lot of wind flow coming in through the helmet, especially in the cold, it's not very nice. And then sometimes bugs fly in through that little tiny gap. Now, I know that bugs are protein and that it's great and that it's helped me build these guns, but still. <laughs> Eating bugs are not nice, especially when you know that they like to sit on doo-doo all day. So, inside this we have, let's show you. So, inside the packaging, you get the insert with grids on it. And right over here is the little cleaning pad lintless uh, cloth that you get with it. So on here, you can just see a grid. Let me hold it up here. So you can see a grid. One's on the uh, inside and one's on the outside. So you'll remove one and then you'll stick on the outside of the visor. And then you take the uh, insert itself, stick it from the inside, line it up, and then peel off both sides. And then that's it, job done. Just make sure that you clean it up. So you'll see in the install video. Now what I like to use is just regular glass cleaner. This is good enough. I use it on my car and on my helmets because it helps reduce fogging. Uh, even before I started using inserts, I used to clean the inside and the outside. If it fogged up a little bit, I just crack it open for two, not that much, just even that much, crack open for two seconds and then I'm good for, for like another like minute or two. Um, but when you have pin lock inserts, it helps a lot to constantly keep it clean, especially when it rains, it'll help it run off. Um, so yeah, that's about it. So let's show you the install. All right guys, so what I've basically done is, I've taken my insert out. I've got my, my visor right here. Um, basically, as you can see, uh, well, you might not be able to see it on the camera, but there's a little dirt mark right there at the top, which might be from this. And that's what I'm gonna use to guide me. It's just basically half a centimeter higher than where my pin lock was. I'm gonna try bring it up a little bit and see if I can basically make sure that this doesn't touch my eyes. I'm gonna leave the pin locks in. They seem to be stuck in there quite well. Um, but again, I might I might pop them out if they're if they're where this one would sit. Uh, the insert would sit. I'll have to pop them out and then cover them from the outside and make sure that no water and dirt gets inside. So first things first, let's clean this out from the inside and out. Nothing special, window cleaner, not Poundland stuff, actual glass cleaner. This stuff's really good, it'll clean the visor nicely, give it a nice uh, nice shine. And uh, basically the other thing is that it reduces how much water, you know, moisture can settle onto the visor. So I always use glass cleaner, I use it even in my car, uh, it's really good to help. Uh, especially in that season where there's always mist and fog. Uh, sorry, condensation on the inside of your window. Um, come in the morning and there's nothing there. I should probably take the pin locks out actually. Yeah, let's take them out. Just to make sure that we clean this thing properly. Okay, so remove the red one. Be careful not to touch the seal. Okay, so it says remove the... I had to really read the instructions. I was really skipping the instructions. Don't be like me. So there's a little bit of 
adhesive on that so that it can stick. So I just remove that. And then you want to position it. I just put it on just so I can do this, so I can match it with that. So showy, just about, oh, I should really fit this on properly. Okay, so after about 20 minutes of playing with it, making sure that it, it is out of my way, it's not gonna obstruct my view. I've managed to get it just underneath this, so it's a perfect fit. I've managed to just align it with the holes. So, you know, I'm testing this on a visor that has pin lock holes in it. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna try now and fit this on the inside. Let's see if we can get this going. Hey guys, so I never recorded this step because I did it over on the glass table. Uh, I put my visor face down and then uh, shine the light from underneath the table upwards so that we could actually see where the grid was and apply the insert from the inside. So if you guys are having difficulty with dark visors, that's one way that you could do it. You don't need a glass table. Uh, if you've got a friend, he can hold both the visor and the uh, torch and then you can just apply it very slowly from the middle and then apply it outwards. So what that means is uh, right here in the middle this would be the first contact point with the visor and then you would just basically fold outwards so I hope that helps you okay guys so before I do my outro let's just cover some things uh, they sent me a little flyer with this thing that says generally uh, the price is about 20 pound for one of these they very kindly sent me two now I was going to use one on my uh, clear visor but I am looking to get another helmet so I'm going to save it for the next helmet there is an instructional video online that you can watch where they put a hot glass of water uh, inside to show you the difference between pin lock, regular and their own anti-fog uh, visor insert. I just want to say thank you to WePro. They technically sponsored this video because they sent this out to me for free and they sent me two so thank you very much. And I just want to basically say that I am not obligated to make this review. They sent me a, a letter that you know with this with this product to say that I am not obligated to make this review, but I want to make this review because it was very kind of them, uh, and I hope that you guys like this this style of review, especially with Ikal laughing at me and doing the whole face emoji thing. All right, now let's do the outro. Uh, that was good. And that was the shooting. Shaking, shooting, shooting, stop shaking. Okay, we'll do stop shaking. All right, guys, so if you guys liked this style of product review uh, video, then let me know, drop a comment, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe and make sure to hit the notification bell. Did I cover everything? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's down there somewhere now. No, but I'm telling them to like and then comment and when subscribe and hit the notification bell. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's a little bit confused. So yeah, thank you to WePro for sending me out these uh, inserts. Uh, they have helped me and I hope that they help you too. So let me know if you guys do end up buying some I mean, it's great because you pay one single price instead of different price for different helmets um, Because they might vary And then uh, also thank you to iCal for letting me use his phone uh, to do this uh, Which is actually amazing and I find it so entertaining. So I hope that you guys really enjoy it too um, and if there are any single guys around the area, let me know. Just drop me your number and I'll pass on to him. Um, you know, he's, he's... So, you know, you guys will really have fun with him. So, <laughs> we're just going to cut that bit out. I went too far back and it, like, removed this thing. See, see? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Almost got a face reveal there. So, all right. Till next time. Peace. Thank you to iCal for letting me use his phone. We stumbled with a lot of things. So this only lets you record for under a minute uh, and we had a lot of outtakes. And his phone got filled with uh, our outtake junk and he accidentally deleted WhatsApp. Okay, so what I've done basically is I've taken the pin lock insert out. What? Nice. Put a mask on first. What, for the reflection? Yeah. Are you saying we don't have to worry about editing? This is why I want to buy a mask for like any like little accident thing. We might we might want to close that in case pop up.
Like, cause look at me, bro. Like, I look like I'm ready to rob someone's house. Like. <laughs> Hi guys. Okay, is that it? Did it? Did it? Did it work? Did it save? Okay, it saved. Yeah. All right, I'm done with this. Get out of my house, mate. I'm done. Get out. Get out. Come on, pack your shit. You have to go. You have to go home, but you gotta get the out of here, mate. Go on. Um, this video is sponsored by WePro, who has kindly provided me two of these uh, pin lock inserts. So this one's not actually a pin lock. Uh, it's an insert that goes into your visor and it's an anti-fog visor, da da da, penis, penis, penis. Video from when I did it to this one, so I'm gonna use that. I just wanted to have a talk. I'm not like talking for too long. No, no, no. It's very boring, isn't it? No, no, just in case if it works. Unless you want me to stop it. Okay. So yeah, let's stop it and try that all over again because I'm talking a lot.